This is a story about two men who lived on the shores of Lake Alexandrina. They belonged to the Nudungjeri people. The two men set off in their bark canoe to go fishing on the lake. They travelled along the calm, cool waters until they came to their favourite fishing place, called Love Day Bay, where they always caught the best and most delicious bream fish. In their language, the fish was called the Kuri. They found a good sheltered spot amongst some high reeds. They had made their own fishing lines, called Nunji, from cords they had made from the reeds. They used very sharp bird bones for hooks. They knew the women were collecting vegetable plants to eat with the fish. As the day went on, the two men sat there catching more and more fat juicy thakuri. They were having such a wonderful day catching so many fish and wanted to keep catching more and more. But the canoe was almost full and looked like it would sink. As they paddled close to the shore, they could see a stranger in the distance. He seemed to be walking straight towards them. The two men looked at each other. What if this stranger wanted some of their beautiful juicy thakuri? They were greedy and decided not to share with the stranger. They decided to keep all the fat, lovely silver bream for themselves and quickly covered the fish up with their woven mats so that the stranger would not see them. When the stranger came up to the two men, he said, Hello brothers, I haven't eaten anything at all today. Could you spare me a couple of fish? The two men looked at each other and at the mats hiding the thakurai. They turned to the stranger and one of them said, I'm sorry friend, but we only caught a few fish today. We have to take them home for our wives and our children and the old people because they are dependent on us. So, you see, we can't give you any. The stranger stood there for a long while and then started to walk away. He stopped, turned around and stared at them. You lied, he said. I know you have plenty of fish in your canoe, but because you're so greedy, you will never be able to enjoy those to quarry ever again. The two men stood there, puzzled, as the stranger walked away into the sunset. They shrugged their shoulders, then quickly took off the mat and began to cut the fish. But as they did this, they found these beautiful silver thakurai were full of sharp, thin bones that they could not eat. What are we going to do? We can't take these home to our families. They'll choke on them. So the two men had to return home in shame with only the bony fish. When they got home, they told their families what had happened. The old people told them that the stranger was, really, the great spirit called Nut and Jerry. Now all the Nut and Jerry people would be punished forever because the two men were so greedy. And so today, whenever people catch a bony bream, they are reminded of long ago, when the Nut and Jerry taught them a lesson.